Hey guys, today I have a book haul for you. So let's get going immediately with this book haul. There are a few books in this pile that I have already read and reviewed, so I won't really go into a lot of details with those. But yeah, a lot of books that I have yet to read and that I'm excited to read in the in the near future, hopefully. <laughs> the first book that I have here is Crenshaw by Katherine Applegate. And this is a children's book, and as you can see from the cover, just a cute little sweet cover, and there's this giant kitty cat and a little boy. This book, it looks like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> uh, uh, you yeah, know, I hate children's books sometimes. Uh, it's like uh, children's books, it's, it, sometimes even more so than adult books, a children's book will make me cry quite horribly. And yeah, this is about a boy and his family and they're living in hard times. And all of a sudden he just, he just sees this cat it's called Crenshaw. And, and I guess, I guess the cat is supposed to be imaginary. Or is he? I don't know. I'm not quite sure on the details. I guess I'll have to read it to discover if he is real or imaginary. But either way, this sounds like such a sweet and cute and perhaps heart-wrenching story and I can't wait to get to it. Next, I have Heir of Novron by Michael J. Sullivan. This is book three in this particular series. And you know what, guys? I started thinking, I don't think I've ever hauled the other books in this series. Now that I think about it, I think this is the first time I've ever hauled this series. And yeah, this is book three or volume three. I guess it's a bind up of a couple books. Um, I do have volume one, but don't have volume two yet. Uh, my sister, my sister's been collecting these books, so I stole this to put in this haul. She's been collecting these, and she has yet to find uh, volume two yet. So yeah, once once we do finally get the second volume. Uh, we'll probably both start reading this at some point in the future. And yeah, this is a fantasy, a fantasy book, fantasy series. I love that sort of thing. And I've heard, I've heard a lot of really good reviews about this series too, so I can't get, I can't wait to get to this. The Accidental Empress by Alison Pataki. And I have already read this book. A review should be up shortly sometime. And uh, this is book one in a duology. And this is focused on Empress Elizabeth of Austria-Hungary, who is married to Emperor Franz Joseph. And I love this book. Oh my goodness. Uh, I've also read the second book in the series, which, weirdly enough, I read the second book first before the first book. Somehow, I don't know how that happened. It's very confusing, you guys. But either way, this duology, I love this duology. Very, very good. If you're into historical fiction, I highly recommend it. And yeah, you know, a lot of historical fiction tends to focus on, you know, the English monarchy. So if you want to kind of expand further with other monarchies, I highly recommend this. Next, The Borgia Bride by Jean Calagritas. This is the second book by Jean Calagritis that I own. The first book that I picked up by her was The Scarlet Contessa, which was focused on uh, Katerina Sforza. And I, I really loved that book, so I wanted to pick up some more books by her. So I decided to get this. Uh, this is obviously, if you can't tell from the title, historical fiction about the Borgias. And this particular book is focused on Sancha of Aragon who arrives in Rome during the Borgia dynasty. And yeah, she she's going to marry one of the Borgia brothers. <laughs> but but yeah, in the meantime, she has to fool around with all of them individually. <laughs> so yeah, sounds kind of steamy and hot. Next, I have this graphic novel set, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven and Other Tales. And I have already read and reviewed this book. There should be a video up for it in the near future. And as I just said, it's, it's just... A, co a collection of graphic novels in here with Edgar Allan Poe's short stories and some of his poetry. Uh, this particular bind up has The Raven, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Mask of the Red Death, The Black Cat, and The System of Dr. Tar and Professor Feather. I love Edgar Allan Poe. He's one of my favorite writers of short fiction and poetry. So of course I saw this I saw this graphic novel and I kind of freaked out and had a little mini heart attack and I had to buy it instantly and I really liked it. Next I have The Ludwig Conspiracy by Oliver Putsch. 
earlier this year I read the first three books in Oliver Poach's uh, The Hangman's Daughter series and I really liked those books so I really felt inspired to pick up some of his, his other works of literature so I finally found this at a used bookstore. I, I kind of freaked out when I saw it because it was kind of just unexpected and I wasn't even looking for it. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm not quite sure. Let me see what this is about. It has something to do with King Ludwig II of Bavaria. That much I know. <laughs> it says something about an encoded diary by one of Ludwig's confidants falls into the hands of modern day rare book dealer Stephen Lucas, who soon realizes that the diary may bring him more misery than money. Oh no. Others want the diary as well, and they will kill to get it. Lucas teams up with a beautiful art detective, of course, <laughs> Sarah Langfeld, to investigate each of Ludwig's three famous castles for clues to crack the diary's code as mysterious thugs and Ludwig's fanatical follower followers chase them at every step. Just what in the diary could be so explosive? <laughs> this sounds really good. This sounds right up my alley and, and things that I like to read. Uh, this definitely sounds very reminiscent of something like uh, the Robert Langdon books by Dan Brown. So I, I definitely can't wait to get to this. Next, I have The Taxidermist's Daughter by Kate Moss. Kate Moss has been a little hit or miss for me. Uh, Labyrinth, I was kind of really disappointed with her book Labyrinth, but then I really loved uh, Sepulchre. Uh, so I decided to give this book a shot. Plus, I won this on a give uh, Goodreads giveaway, so what's the harm in that if I don't like it? At least I didn't pay for it. <laughs> and this says that it takes place in England in 1912. And like the title suggests, it follows a taxidermist's daughter. Uh, she's 22, unmarried, lives with her father on the fringes of the town in a decaying mansion. Something about a woman being found dead who is a stranger in the town. Yeah, there's there's a big long lengthy description here. There's a lot to it. I'm not going to really get into it. If you want to know more about this book, go read it on Goodreads, the synopsis there. But yeah, it, it sounds really good. I like It sounds like really atmospheric and kind of creepy and maybe some horror elements in there. Next I have The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. And I've heard a lot of people on booktube in the community. I've seen a lot of people read this book and really enjoy it. And this is historical fiction taking place in 1943. It follows this Australian surgeon. It sounds like he's in a Japanese POW camp during the war. And he's just thinking about his his past and he's haunted by his affair with his uncle's young wife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sound, sounds really scandalous. Next I have The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. I have already read and reviewed this book so stay tuned for a video in the near future. This is young adult historical fiction and I do have some rather complicated feelings for this book, uh, kind of 50-50 with my love and hate of it, but for the most part I did like it. And yet yeah, this book, it takes place in an alternate version of Imperial Russia in the 1800s, and it's time for the Crown's Game. And what the Crown's Game is, it is this magical duel to the death between two enchanters and whoever wins they will become the Tsar's next court enchanter I guess. <laughs> and the last book I have here is Bellman and Black by Diane Setterfield. One of my favorite historical fiction books is The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield and I've kind of been anxiously waiting to read another book by her so I finally found this at a used bookstore, picked it up, I uh, hope, hopefully she does not disappoint me because I loved The Thirteenth Tale so much so I hope this book is just as good. I'll just read a brief little bit of the synopsis. Uh, caught up in a moment of boyhood competition, William Bellman recklessly aims his slingshot at a rook resting on a branch killing the bird instantly. Oh, poor, oh my goodness, poor birdie. So years later, now when William is a grown man, this stranger mysteriously enters into his life 
and brings up some ter terrible events of the past and I guess also something had to do with this bird. Something, somehow this bird connects these two strangers, it seems, and there's something weird and creepy going on. But together, I guess after they team up, they do something and they end up m making a very macabre business of some sort. What, what does that mean? You know what? This description is very vague. I don't think I'm being very helpful, you guys. <laughs> Either way, this does sound really good and intriguing. I'm dying to know what, what the hell is going on. So, yeah, you guys, that's it for this book haul. Have you guys read any of these books? And which of these books should I get around to first? So, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye, guys.